Starfleet hasn't heard from Deep Space Station K-13 in a while. It's in a tactically sensitive part of the Quadrant, and the Brass is getting concerned. Get out there, find out what you can, and render assistance if needed. And hey, be careful, okay? This could go sideways, fast. Right, so we get some more experience points, more expertise, another bridge officer, torpedo, warp core, personal shield, and some more dilithium. So, Stay safe. You are now in sector space. Here ships travel at warp speed between systems. Combat does not take place in sector space. Okay. So we click that, we should put a course. Okay, um, it looks like we've got some more skill points. So let's see, what, what are we going to put the next uh, skill point in? Um, give me one second. Right. So we can put that next one in improve hull restor restoration. That looks like a good one to go for. So we'll purchase that. Improved hull restoration. Okay. And that gives us bridge officer training. Hazard admitters 3. Hmm. That's quite nice. Right, that's a skill point. And we could also go into this icon over here, episode, and we can track our mission progress. Explorer stop in the shadow of the test. Painful omen, which we're just about to do. And then we've got Return to Babel, Tangled Web, and the Battle of Caleb Hall. Oh. So we've got four missions left by the looks of it to complete this um, section. So let's begin. We've arrived near Deep Space K-13, Captain. This is odd. 
I'm not picking up any comm traffic. No signals, nothing at all. From K-13 or the other ships in system. Scan for signs of enemy ships or activity. Sensors aren't detecting enemy vessels or warp signatures. No signs of combat either. This is... peculiar. I'm not sure what to make of it. Yellow alert. Prefe prepare for approach. Captain, the other ships are raising shields and charging weapons. Okay. Warning, ship is Sorry, under attack. Target's shields have failed. Target's shields have failed. All ships disabled, Captain. Captain, those were the Starfleet ships assigned to patrol this sector. I don't think that was a war game or training sim. Their weapons were at full power. See if you can raise any of the ships, but use all channels. Try whatever it takes to get through. Stay away! They'll... they're taking control! Don't come near us! They'll take you to... Ah, the st station came from... The station? Ah! Who? Who's taking control? What's happening over there? Message from Starfleet Command, Captain. We're to investigate the situation immediately. Captain Doughty, mention the station. Bring us close enough to scan K-13. Right, before we scan, let me just mention that we gained um, another bridge officer, which should, which is automatically slotted into our um, starship station, and he gives us engineering team, which gives us some uh, some repairs to our ship as we fly. Um, it hasn't added it to the way team, so let's add him to our way team. So it's also unlocked more um, <clears throat> more kit options. So Tazi's got photon grenade, target optics, battle strategy, and ambush one. And Guard Rim, Quick Fix, Weapons Malfunction, Turret Fabrication, and Medical Generator Fabricator. Now it is, it is possible later on, um, when we unlock more options, to change these out um, if we decide that they're not, um, not doing very well.
Um, but we won't be doing that um, doing that for now. So we've got him slotted, so we've got those two slotted in in there for us to use. Right, let's scan. No signs of combat on board the station, Captain. No hostile life form readings either. Everything's quiet. Hmm, something's not right. Sensors are picking up a number of life signs over there, but I'm not reading any unusual activity. All of the station systems seem to be functioning normally. Think we should beam over and have a look around? Now again, we could cancel out, but we're not going to, because there's nothing for us to look at. Uh, have a landing party meet me in the transport room. And there we go, there's our two, uh, two bridge officers now. And that. I don't like this. No one's at their duty stations. Not even the transporter operator. Station's not on alert. What's happening? Tricorder's picking up a life sign nearby. Looks like they're in sick bay just across the hall. So it phases the stun. Let's get to the bottom of it. Those blast points on the wall are from phaser fire. There was a fight here. But with whom? No sign of Klingon or Romulan weapon fire. Just Federation. Hmm, I've got a bad feeling about this. The lights have all been dimmed, but it looks like sickbay is still operational. Over to the right. Captain, I think I saw motion in that room to the left. Stop where you are and turn about slowly. I need to determine if you are infected. Infected with what exactly? Neural parasites. A life form last encountered by the crew of the Enterprise at Deneva Colony. Those possessed by the creatures tend to engage in hostilities with the uninfected. The better to render them fit for infestation. Well, as you can see, we're friendly, Ensign. To Matt. And while you have not engaged in hostilities thus far, I have seen infected employ false passivity in order to lure unwary prey. A tricorder scan of your adrenaline levels should verify your status. A logical precaution, Ensign. Scan away. Scans show a slightly elevated level of adrenaline, though nowhere near that of an infected life form. Thank you for your patience. One can never be too cautious where these parasites are concerned. Tell me more about them. I want to know what we're dealing with. They are a life form that propagates by infiltrating the nervous system of a host creature. Through this neural link, they can compel their host to obey their bidding. They can also inflict extreme pain upon the host at will, and do so to discourage attempts at resistance. While effective, this punishment can lead to permanent neurological damage or death. At this time, most of the station personnel have become infected. While there is a possibility of uninfected survivors, I must warn that it is remote. I see. Any recommendations, Ensign? According to Starfleet data files, the parasites can be safely destroyed by exposure to high-intensity ultraviolet light. My attempts at reconfiguring the station's lighting thus far have been unsuccessful. I am a physician, not a habitat engineer. I see. As a precaution, I have developed a serum that can render a person toxic to the creatures. However, medical supplies here are limited. I have enough serum to inoculate your landing party and one other person. Hopefully we're not alone here. This is Lieutenant Piran of the USS Reliance. Is anyone on is anyone on the station able to respond? Now there's a voice I wasn't expecting. I take it you heard my distress call then. 
Well, in case you haven't noticed, the station's been overrun by neural parasites. The weed devils are back with a vengeance. So I see. We're safe up in sick bay. Can you join us up here? Uh, I'm afraid not. I'm in the artillery control room down on the engineering deck. The place is filthy with parasites, so you'll understand if I don't go out for a wee jaunt. Understood, Scotty. We'll make our way to you, peer on out. I have secured a small amount of security gear. It may give you another edge against the parasites. Excellent, Ensign. You're with us. Let's gear up and head to engineering. Equip your bridge officers by selecting them, then double-click an item in your inventory to have them equip it. Okay. If we pass through the mess hall, we can access the turbo lift to reach engineering. Whenever you are ready. Right. So, we can have that. You can have that. Just leave you with that one for a minute. You You can have that one. And you can have that one. And we'll save that one. That one for later. You might as well have an upgraded shield. I'll we'll put that over there. And we can have that. Uh, where's me? Alright, okay. So I'm not high enough rank to use that, so let's pop that down there out of the way. Put that device in there. Uh, and I'll chuck that on me, I think, for now. Ah, uh, what then? I must swap that out for me. Pop that over there. Let's stick those wooden devices out of the way. That's the weapons battery, which gives you a boost for 10 seconds, and that's the shield battery, which also gives you a boost for 10 seconds. Uh, dual phaser cannon, we're not going to use that. The refined and dilithium. There we go. Okay, right. Back to the mission. These crew members, they're all infected by the parasites. Be careful. Enemy targets on sensors. The creatures continue to be resistant to tricorder scans, sir. It may be... fascinating. I'm detecting an unusually high level of tachyons nearby. 
Based on these readings, it is possible that a temporal event has occurred on this station within the last 4.2 hours. Fascinating indeed. Let's keep going. modulation and you use the up and down arrows to make the yellow um, modulation get bigger or smaller and that has to match the red one in the background it was a bit quick to be able to show you because there's a, a countdown timer on it but if you match the modulation then you get yeah uh, then you get an ore from it this one is geranium and we can use that later on um, in our crafting As I mentioned before, we don't have to wait for them all to get in the turbo lift before we go, but they have all nicely decided to join us, so let's go. The auxiliary control station is down the hall to our right. I'm reading a single human life form within the room. The bio signs match those of Commander Scott in the Starfleet Medical Database. Let's not keep him waiting then. Hi there. It's good to see a friendly face. Ah, there you are. I was beginning to get a bit concerned. Thought you might have been taken by those little beasties. I'll just lock the door so none of them can get in while we discuss our next course of action. Now that you're here, we've some work to do. The way I see it, we need to get to main engineering and turn on the station's ultraviolet lighting. That'll sort the nasty buggers out properly. Is that so? While I cannot attest to the ability of UV light to sort Denovan parasites, it will initiate a complete molecular breakdown within all parasites exposed to it. Um, Ensign? Aye, she's a Vulcan, all right. I was trying to override the lighting controls from here. It looks like someone sabotaged several duochronic relays. We have to repair them if we're going to have any chance of saving the station. Before we go, grab yourself a kit from the crate there. It might come in handy. We better get a move on. The parasites aren't ones to loiter about. Glad you're with us, Scotty. Lead the way. Okay. Equip a kit to gain new ground combat abilities. Aye, this is one of the broken relays, right here. Right, so let's just... Uh... That one was easy. Just a few more to go. All right, the there are several ways through the engineering section here. Keep in mind that the parasites tend to stay in dark corners. If you want to avoid them, do your best to stay in the lit areas. Thank you for the reminder, Mr. Scott. Right, let's just grab that 
kit module which is stasis beam and we'll put that in our kit module slot and then close that and there we are stasis beam so we can use number six to do stasis beam right Nice. Remember, the parasites like the dark. We devils that they are. Our odds of success are greatest if we remain in well-lit areas. Now this may be a bit tricky. Just a wee bit longer. There we are now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Enemy targets on sensors. Ah, uh, this one just needs new fuses. There we are. Good as new. Flanking damage detected. I'll have this fixed up straight away. That takes care of that. No trouble at all. Get it off. <laughs> ah, it looks like someone has overridden the command codes. You best get to the command center to see what you can do from there. I'll stay here, barricade the door, and keep trying to get those UV lights going. Alright, Scotty. Stay safe. Ah, we're going for a bit of a climb. Off we go. Oh. Right. On to the command center. Those soldiers, they're definitely not Starfleet. Get the lights while the commander's down. Who are these fellas? Hmm. They're dying! All of them! Salvage what you can and send a squad to kill the Federation vermin! Really? Dispatch them quickly. We need to talk. Now is not a good time, Hunter. Actually, 
The name's Daniels. This may be a little difficult to absorb, but recent events may make it more plausible. I'm actually from the future. I can't tell you how far. Just that it's a future worth protecting. That's why I'm here now. The aliens we're fighting are called the Nakul, and they're waging a temporal cold war with us. They're trying to change the timeline here in order to disrupt the future. Understand that I follow a temporal version of the Prime Directive. There's only so much I can reveal to you. Trust that we're doing the right thing here. I can't tell you how far. Just that it's a future worth protecting. Time's a factor. We need to stop the Nakul from obtaining the neural parasites. The Nakul ship that brought these invaders is now fighting the USS Ptolemy. Someone must have sent a distress call. Unfortunately, Ptolemy is no match for the Nakul. And neither is your ship, at least not alone. We should eliminate the parasites on the ships you fought earlier. Those crews will help you once their minds are their own again. It's risky, but it's our best shot here. That is a lot to take in. We can return to the ship on your orders. Right, return to the ship, let's go. <clears throat> the Ptolemy is holding the Nakul off while we rescue the other ships, but they won't last long. K-13 is hailing us, Captain. On screen. I'm transferring command codes to you now. Use them to remotely access the computer on those disabled ships and emit an ultraviolet flash inside. Thanks, Scotty. This is Captain Seralt of the Ptolemy. We have engaged the enemy ship, but we are outmatched. Please restore those ships and join the fight quickly. That did it, Captain. Looks like everyone's coming around. The parasites are gone. This is Captain Doherty of the USS Myrmidon. What... what happened? What's going on? Your crew was taken over by neural parasites. We defeated them. Now we need your help fighting this alien ship. Parasites? What? <laughs> okay, sorry. We're right behind you, Captain. Lead the way. Acknowledge. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target's shields have failed. Fine work, Captain. You sent those devils back to wherever they came from. Aye, uh, we do have a wee problem, however. The burst I sent, when combined with the power source, created a feedback pulse. The feedback is creating some kind of spatial anomaly, which is beginning to pull the station in. We need to evacuate, immediately! Acknowledged. Scott here. The portal's collapsing. We're in for a right bumpy ride. Everyone's aboard. Get us clear before the portal blows. There she goes. I don't think anyone's ever seen a station do that.
Captain, before K-13 was pulled into the vortex, I picked up a few distress signals from inside the station. Shorty, you said we had everyone. They're gone. Perhaps not. After all, it was a temporal vortex. They may well survive in another time. Let's hope so, Scotty. Let's hope so. Well then, it's been quite a day, hasn't it? Neural parasites, time traveling readers. Why, things will seem almost normal once I'm back on the Enterprise. Speaking of, I'm sure one of the ships here can give me a lift back to her now that they're parasite free. If Starfleet Command gives you any grief on this, remind them that lives are more valuable than equipment. And you saved a lot of lives today. Thanks, Scotty. Give my regards to Captain Kirk and the crew. I apologize for springing all of this on you at the last minute, and I'll explain more as soon as I can. For now, I can tell you that history is unfolding as it should, and that was not the end of K-13. You're building a fine tradition of making the right decisions in crisis situations. In the meantime, don't talk to anyone about the Nakul or their time travel. We can't risk any further corruption of the timeline. Understood. We'll talk soon, Daniel. And I'm going to need more answers. System scans clear, Captain. Looks like everything's getting back to normal. We can leave the system on your orders. Okay, let's go. Let me get this straight. K-13, an entire space station just disappeared into some type of spatial anomaly? <laughs> and I thought some of Kirk's after-action reports were a little out there. Starfleet Command won't be pleased with the loss of K-13, or the people that were still on board. But they'll be happy to hear about the lives you did save. Good work out there. Keep it up. Okay. Stay safe, Alex. There we go. We get Timet. 